Ballots are being printed and sent to polling stations immediately. Russia's Kaliningrad region is preparing for a referendum on joining one of the European states. We are ready for the referendum precinct and territorial election commissions have already been formed. We already have a full circulation of ballots, there is some minimum left. Half of the ballots are already in the territorial election commissions, the rest will be taken away today. So far, the Kaliningrad region is an enclave of Russia near the Baltic Sea. Recently, the former commander of the Polish ground forces said that Poland should claim its rights to the region. After that, the people of Kaliningrad also decided to hold a referendum. They say the rest of Russia is far away and undeveloped, and Europe is here, nearby. They are sure that as soon as they become part of another state, the opportunities will increase – better medicine, better education, better infrastructure, less uncivilized horde with the same passport. First of all, we think about our children, that the education was finally good and these bribes may finally end. There will be a good treatment in Europe, children will receive, and the future for them. The prospect is great. At the same time, Kaliningrad residents have a choice. The ballots contain several options for answering which country they would like to join. The first is the already mentioned Poland. The second is Lithuania. This country declared its rights to the region in 1995. Well, the third option – Germany. It was the country that owned the city before the end of World War II. Even Russian President Putin doesn't seem to oppose the referendum. The only thing he says is that if region leaves Russia, the Baltic fleet based in Kaliningrad will be relocated. Freedom is at the heart of our policy, freedom of choice for all who determine their own future and to the future of their children. And we think it's important that this right, the right to choose, can be exercised by all. On the other side of the Federation, people also decided to use this right. The inhabitants of the Republic of Tuva. Preparations for the referendum began after the Kremlin started recruiting volunteers for the war in Ukraine. Several dozen men agreed. They were dressed in all the uniform, put on rubber boots and were not given bulletproof vests or other equipment. The locals stated that that was violation of their rights and started talking about leaving the Federation. For now, the flags of Russia and the Republic itself hang over the administrative building. However, if they dare to hold a referendum, the Russian signs will be taken away. Which flag will appear there? There are several scenarios. One of them is China. Until 1914, Tuva was part of China. Local deputies and officials are called to make a quick decision and choose whether to stay independent or come back to the Peking. If we do not set a personal example, then sorry, everything else is moralizing, which has no sense. And while Tuva is just preparing and Kaliningrad is taking its last steps, the referendum is also in full swing in the borderline Belgorod region of Russia. One question in the bulletin – do they agree that the region should again become a part of Ukraine? People stand in kilometer-long queues to the polling stations. We naturally followed the preparation and conduct of this referendum in the most careful way. What we have noted is the high turnout despite attempts to disrupt the vote. These are consequences of explosions in number of settlements in the region, destroyed houses, broken windows cut by shrapnel cars. Locals say it is similar to the terrorist attacks in Moscow in the late 90s. Experts agree that the terrorist attacks could have been organized by the FSB to create the pretext for invading Chechnya. It seems that today the Russian security services are doing everything according to a similar scenario. This time they want to force the Russians to support further war against Ukraine. However, locals do not want to be used. Many have Ukrainian relatives, and that's why they want to join Ukraine. Some of them are even ready to fight for Ukraine despite current Russian passport. I was going to the territory of Ukraine to join the International Legion of Territorial Defense of Ukraine. Some of you probably won't believe it. And that's the right decision. All you just heard is fake and manipulation. These are quotes taken out of context. These are distorted facts. These are videos of completely different events. After all, this is 
all that Russian propaganda usually does. They did it in 2014 in the Ukrainian Donbas and Ukrainian Crimea. And once again, they want to hold pseudo-referendums in the occupied Ukrainian territories. Until May 9, a sacred date for so-called Russians, the Kremlin is planning more than a dozen of such fictitious polls. Putin needs to show Russians success in Ukraine. But so far, the greatest success has been the appointment of former janitor as Berdyansk deputy mayor.